So our guest this afternoon, the second game of Pool C, Grandmasters Daniel Duboff and Grandmaster Vincent Keimer. Daniel, uh, a fine game from my point of view. Could you take us through the main moments of the, of the opening and uh, when you sensed that the game was going your way? Yeah, in general, this is just non nowadays. Yeah, it's uh, pretty much the, the scenario we had in the, I mean, in the first game with a uh, side's reverse. Basically, White was very well prepared, and I mean, just ch changed a lot. Yeah, I mean, Karakan used to be really fighting opening, but now, I mean, if if you repeat it or the slabs that, that I played, I mean, sometimes you'll just run into something like this. Yeah, when when the, his opponent will keep banging moves and then if you like play 15 only moves in a row then it's a draw and if you play 14 you're suffering and if you play less then you resign. This was pretty much the scenario. I think rook b8 is correct. I mean rook b8 is sort of okay and then instead of g5 as far as I remember black is, is, is supposed to play something else king d7 maybe or something but uh, yeah then uh, I mean it's a bit strange like the, as the game lasted for like three or three or four moves after that, but I felt like I spoiled it a little. Maybe rook d4 was not optimal. Rook b6 is a blunder, of course, but instead of rook b6, I started to worry a little about h5 or even knight c8. Rook b4 was my point, but then I realized actually black can sacrifice a piece, and the game somehow continues. It has to be lost. I agree with Winston, but uh, yeah, anyway, it's pretty much an opening win, of course. Okay. Uh, Vincent, um I saw you uh, were shaking your head slightly after Daniel played bishop b5. Uh, at that point, did you realize that rook b6 had been a major blunder? Yeah, sure. I mean, of course, this is the line where you just cannot allow yourself to forget, forget any kind of moves. You just have to know the moves or it's extremely, extremely hard to defend. I mean, of course, we both know that black, if black press plays perfectly, it's a draw. But of course, this is very hard if you don't remember the engine moves. And it's not enough to know like 20, you need to know more. Yeah, this is the point. And then, yeah, I think it went pretty bad very fast. And this, of course, yeah. Yeah, but this was my my logic as well, actually, because yesterday was uh, somehow pretty much the, is the first time in my life when I looked at this line, and it's like always black has to play all the only moves. I looked at it, I thought, okay, give me a break. If if the guy like knows everything and remembers everything, I mean, there, there is not much I can do. Yeah, I'm not capable of uh, like recalling all the, all the lines in in this way. So I thought, okay, if he will do it, okay, I will deserve draw. Yeah, but it's very tough for black, of course. My last question for for Daniel. With this result and taking into account that the other game ended a draw, you're tying for second place with uh, Vidit. Do you think you're still in contention to grab the first spot in the group with two play two games to go? I don't know. You're, you're talking to, to a man who won the, uh, the first game in like uh, 15 or something, uh, probably more. So I, I don't know what's my contest, but uh, I mean, clearly I will try. Yeah, I'm not kind of a person who just uh, sort of my uh, my calls the draws and uh, call it today. Of course, I will try, but uh, I mean, clearly eleven is a very comfortable lead. So yeah, we'll see what happens. But his chances his chances look pretty good. Thanks for coming. Enjoy your rest day tomorrow. Thanks. Thank you.